I'm Teresa. welcome to my channel thank you for joining me here today um, today we're going to be gel printing we're going to be creating some fun layered tags today I'm um, just a simple project nothing too taxing sometimes you just want to go and play and have fun I've been having a dig around in my craft room found some collage sheets which had got some fun images and I've used those to finish off my printed tags this is just a quick run through of what we're making today and as I say, nothing too strenuous, no real sort of specialist um, equipment needed today. So I'm going to move these out of the way and I'll be right back to show you how it's done. As always, before we begin, I'll give a quick rundown of what I'm using today. Today I've got my 8 by 10 inch Jelly Arts gel printing plate. Use whatever size plate you've got. If you've got a smaller plate, that would be absolutely fine. Um, a larger plate, again, absolutely fine. I figured I could get a couple of tags off each um, print that I'm doing here. So I'm using the larger size one today. I have die cut some tags from watercolour card stock. This is not overly heavy. It's about 200 GSM, but I'm going to be backing it with either some scrapbooking paper or some card stock um, just to stiffen it up and tidy the back. Um, it's got a very slight texture to it. I, I fancied using something a little different today from the smooth card that I usually do. So I've just die cut these using my Sizzix die. Um, this is one of the Tim Holtz alterations. It's called Tag and Book Plates and <clears throat> has a couple of frames in this tag on. Not entirely sure whether this is still available. These seem to come and go. I know Sizzix do um, still do a set of nesting tags, which does have one that is the same size as this. And just for your information, these are about three inches by six inches. Um, but you can use like pre-done tags. If you've got some manila parcel tags, luggage tags, use those or just cut them freehand. It's, you know, at the end of the day, it's a rectangle with a couple of corners off and a hole in the top. I've got my... Brayer, this one today, the speedball brayer, the rubber brayer. It really makes little difference whether I use this one or one of the Ranger red rubber ones. Um, just this is the one that I grabbed first, so I'm using that. I'm using the Arteza acrylic colours again today. Just fancied uh, working with those. And I know when I did the bookmarks, I used a red, yellow and blue. I quite like that. So I'm, I'm continuing. I've chosen a red, a yellow, a blue, a green and white. And if you're using these for your information, this is cochineal red, lemon yellow, cobalt blue, emerald green and titanium white. They're all fairly cool toned um, colours today. So they should blend quite well. They should layer up nicely. I have um, paper towel and some spray water just to clean up and a few things for mark making. I haven't gone to any great expense. I've got my trusty um, kitchen roll with some string wrapped around. This makes for some nice interesting wavy lines. I've used that in um, videos before. I've got these couple of plastic trays here. These had glue sticks in, in, in a box like the... Um, you know, like your, your glue stick type thing. They, they were fitted on those. So they're good for making circles or for making uh, sort of the, the, the negative space around the circles. Some sequin waste, um, basically to use as a stencil. If you've got stencils, use them. That's absolutely fine. I've got this round piece of foam rubber, which is nice just to stamp in sort of circle designs. And I've got a couple of foam stamps. This one here is um, a leaf design. And this is one of the art foamies from Art by Marlene. And these two here, I think were Claudine Helmuth um, little foam stamps. Just like them, just for just added little bits of detail. Again, use whatever you've got, use what you fancy. Um, you know, if you've got stencils and stamps and things like that, other mark making tools that you want to use, go ahead and use those. If you've made your own foam stamps, use those. We're just going to have a little bit of fun creating some just nice layered tags and then I'll finish them off maybe with a bit of stamping or collage on top um, just to give you a couple of suggestions of how to finish them off when, when we finish the printing. So to begin with, I'm going to put some colours of paint onto my plate. It's not that clean today. I've um, got some little bits left over, but I don't mind. They'll come off eventually and they just add to the uh, interest of your little spots and speckles. Never did any harm to a, a gel print.
wondering whether to do one more layer on a couple of the tags. I, although I really do like these nice bold dots on here, I kind of fancy um, that leaf shape over the top. So I'm going to clean my plate off and do one more layer on a couple of the tags that I think need it. I think I'm going to call that a day. I'm going to clean this up and I'll show you the prints that I've got um, and then I'll go on and embellish a few of them and show you the finished items. Now my tags are dry. Um, I've backed them all with some scrapbooking paper. I think there's three of them have got this black text um, design and three of them have got this white. Um, again, it's a text design but with circles. I just wanted something to tidy up the backs and just to give them a little bit more body and um, just stiffen them up a little bit. The only other thing that I've done is I've gone around the edge with some um, black archival ink, just used a blending tool just to add a little bit around the edge, um, front and back. And it just kind of finishes it off, I think, just frames it a little and helps disguise any uneven edges. I'm really pleased with them, although I do kind of regret going over this one here. I'd found the white quite stark and decided to add this leaf design, but I lost that red and orange by putting another layer on. But, you know, that's the thing with gel printing. The more layers you add, it's always a bit of a surprise what you're going to get. And at the end of the day, I, I mean, I, there is a nice variation and none of them are, are what I would call a disaster. They're all perfectly usable. So I'll just flip through what we've got here, the six designs that I've got. And I do like the fact that you can see these various layers peeping through, showing through. And a nice variation of colours. So I'm going to finish these tags off by adding some elements to, probably just collaged elements to them, maybe some stamping, not entirely sure, um, just to give you some ideas of what you can do. And I shall be back in a moment to show you. And here are my completed tags. Um, as I said earlier, I've just decided to add some collaged images and some word stickers, um, keeping it nice and simple. I'd had a bit of a clear out in my craft room the other week and I found these um, images which were from collage sheets by Joggles and I believe they are called anthropomorphic creatures or anthropomorphic figures. Um, I will, if I can find the link, I'll just pop a caption on there so you know the title of them, but they're really, really nice images. And I've added in some of the Tim Holtz um, snarky sentiments on the bottom, quite like those two. Just finished off with some um, little coloured ring reinforcers at the top there. So that's two of my tags. Then I'd got some images which were by Vera Lane Studio. Uh, she does a lot of digi stamps collage sheets. Um, these are collage sheets and pre-coloured um, digi stamps. So super easy. These I'd printed off and I printed them onto sticker paper so that I could just stick, cut them out and stick them down. And again, added some stickers, some of the ideology um, small talk stickers and clippings stickers there. Just thought they would make nice tags. And then finally, these two have images by James Luke Burke. Um, I take several of his online classes. Um, this was from the Virtual Voyage 2, which was Tim Burton themed. And there were collage sheets as part of that package. And these images were from there. I've also added some stamping in the background um, just to add a little extra detail. No sentiment needed on that one. It's a nice big image, so I've left it as it is. And this, again, is one of the snarky stickers from Tim Holtz um, in the large size. 
so just um, matted that onto some black card and stuck it in so I hope that's just given you a few ideas these could now go in a journal they could just be sent to friends used as a bookmark and um, added to the front of a card I like working on tags they're a nice size um, and ideal for gel printing so as always hope you enjoyed the video hope it's given you plenty of inspiration for using your gel plate please leave me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell I had a, um, a couple of people who hadn't been receiving notifications um, so double check that you are getting the alerts when I post a video each Saturday I would hate for you to miss out on all the fun. But for now, that's all. Bye.